Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be building a crowdfunding website using WordPress and the WP Crowdfund plugin. So you'll be able to create your own campaign and then backers are able to view this campaign and contribute to your fundraising goal. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so here in a fresh install of WordPress, what we're going to do is go into plugins and add new. And we're going to install the crowdsourcing plugin. So search for WP crowdfunding. Okay, and then we're going to install WP crowdfunding. So click install and activate. Okay, so WooCommerce is required in order to install WP crowdfunding. So let's do that. Okay, so WooCommerce is installed. So we need to activate that and configure the plugin. Okay, so we're just gonna skip the guided setup. Okay, and then just enter where your business is located. Okay, great. So now WooCommerce is set up. So we won't be using this plugin like usual as we won't have any products. We'll be using the crowdfunding plugin here in order to create crowdfunding campaigns. But WooCommerce will handle the payments and like the accounts and the tax rates for the crowdsourcing campaigns. So that's why WooCommerce is required. What you wanna do is in order to collect payments, you wanna set up payments. Okay, so what you can do is get started with WooCommerce payments here. So you would just need to enter in your business bank account details, or if you already have a Stripe or PayPal account, you can use those payment providers as well. Okay, and then once you have that set up, then we can go here into crowdfunding. Okay, so these are just some of the add-ons. So Let's just turn on social sharing. And then these are some paid add-ons. So you can enable Stripe Connect, which allows you to easily distribute the funds from your Stripe account to your users' accounts. Okay, so that's, I think, something that would be needed if you're using Stripe as a payment provider. Okay, and then now let's start with configuring the plugin in settings. Okay, so fund managers, this is where the funds will be managed. So it'll be handled by WooCommerce. Okay, the default campaign status. So I'll just keep this as default. As draft. So these are the dashboard pages for creating campaigns. Okay, so these seem to be set up already by default. Okay, so next we'll go into the WooCommerce settings. Okay, so let's see what they have here by default. So hide crowdfunding campaigns from shop page. So you can enable or disable that over here. So we'll just try to keep everything by default as there doesn't seem to be anything that we need to overwrite. Okay, so these are just the labels if you wanna change those. And then these are the listings, okay. And then this is important is enabling tax in crowdfunding products. So in this video, we won't have any tax set up. So you'll have to speak with your accountant on your tax situation, but you'll be able to enable that down here. Just turn it on or off. Okay, so I think WooCommerce settings are fine for now. And then now for the cosmetic side, we can look at the style settings. So this is how the layout of our campaigns will look like. So just looking at the default coloring and you can, so you can just edit that here to match your brand and then any custom css you can add down here at the bottom yep so these are all the default fields so you can enable or disable that here when creating a new campaign and then we just enabled social sharing okay so let's just enable all of these okay and then save change so now let's see some of the pages that were created with this plugin so go into pages and all pages. Okay, so I think the home page should be this one over here. So the crowdfunding listing page. So this will show all the campaigns being offered for crowdfunding. So if we view that here, yep, so no campaigns were found. So let's just set this as the home page. So go into reading. Home page is CF listing page. Okay, that's good. And then now let's try to create a campaign. So go into visit site and then campaign form. Okay, so let's just say we wanna crowdfund a new WordPress theme. So let's just say WordPress theme project. Okay, and then the description. I need um, investment for creating a new theme. We're creating a WordPress theme 
that will make it easy to create landing pages. Okay, so something like that. And then just copy it for the short description and then you can add categories to separate out different campaigns. And then tags, you can add tags. So images, videos, and a target goal. So you can do when a campaign will end based on a goal and a date. So you can put say, We'll start today, so March 18th, and let's say give it 90 days. Okay, so this is um, the amount of donations I think you can uh, provide. So let's say from $5 to say $100, funding goal is say $1,000. Okay, and this is the recommended amount. So let's say $20, and then here you can set predefined amounts. So let's say five, 10, 20. 50 and 100 over here you can set who contributed to the campaigns okay and then this option over here will allow contributors to remain anonymous if they choose so i think that's a good feature to add as well so we'll enable that okay and then select the country which the campaign resides in so let's say canada toronto and then these are the rewards for anyone that pledges so say anyone that pledges uh 20 or more will get the theme for free okay and then should be expected at the end of the campaign so after the three months so june of this year okay and then you get one license okay and then you need to upgrade to the pro version in order to add more rewards so we'll, we'll just keep it at the one reward in this campaign and then agree to terms and conditions and submit campaign Okay, so now our campaign has been successfully submitted. So now we can check the dashboard here and we have our campaign being shown. Okay, so we can look at the campaign. So it looks like this. It tells you the goal, how many days that this campaign will last. Okay, and then you can add in your pledge amount. And then down here is the description of the campaign and then the reward okay so since i click the 20 dollar reward to get the theme upon development now that will be added to cart and check out over here where you'll just need to fill in your details and payment methods so since we didn't set up the woocommerce payments it's not available here or stripe or paypal but whichever payment method you select you'll appear over here in the payment options and then you'll be able to place an order and then once you place an order, then over here in the campaigns, it will be shown. Okay, so let's work on publishing this campaign. So in edit, okay, let's see in the dashboard why our campaign isn't showing. Campaign over here under products. So that's where you'll find all of your campaigns from all your users. Okay, and then as the admin, we can set this to pending review and publish okay and then now let's view the campaign okay awesome so i think this is published now because if we go back here to the home page it shows all of our campaigns over here so let's just fix it so that it's a better layout over here and let's make it so by default campaigns are published automatically and then we'll clean up the top menu over here just to finish off okay so over here in dashboard go here into crowdfunding and then settings Okay, in default status, let's just set it to publish. Okay, so let's just view the page again here. And then let's try to edit the page. So template, pages, let's say, so this is a default template. So let's edit the template. And then over here, let's just make it a full width layout. Okay, so just turn off the inner block uses content width. Just update that and save. So down here on the listing page, make it a full width layout like that and click save okay so now let's view the site again and awesome so we see over here that now it's um full width so we're able to see all the information regarding our campaign okay so again let's just clean up the top here and just make it more um descriptive so i don't think we need shop because let's see what shop offers yeah so i think just having the listing so we can just rename this to like crowdfunding campaigns and then Yep, just to use the registration to anyone that wants to sign up the dashboard so we went over the campaign form so let's go over the dashboard so we can check here how much was raised through the campaigns all your campaigns your information over here and again just more information 
about your account and your campaigns over here, as well as creating a new campaign. So to finish off, let's just clean up the top menu bar over here. So back in dashboard, over here in appearances and themes, go to customize. Then what we want to do is in navigation, edit the navigation. Okay, so we'll have to edit the template. So click edit template. Okay, and then edit our links. Okay, so detach and then edit. Okay, great, so now we can remove links that aren't needed. So let's say card page isn't needed, so you can delete that. As well as the shop, sample page. Delete that and then check out. Okay, so what we need is just, if you wanna register, access your account, see all the listings. And I think the listing should be first. So let's just move this element, just move it to the left here. Dashboard is second. So let's just add in better labels. So crowdfunding campaigns, dashboard. I think it's better just to access the dashboard and then the form. So we can delete this one here. Yes, yeah, so I think this is fine. So let's click save and then let's view our website. Okay, so we have the campaigns over here. We wanna to go to our dashboard. So registration, if, if you're not logged in and then my account. So even my account, I don't necessarily think it's needed. So you can even possibly get rid of my account. Okay, and then lastly, let's just edit the title over here. So name the page crowdfunding campaigns and update and then view the page. Okay, awesome. So we now have a functioning crowdfunding website where you're able to create campaigns and donors are able to make pledges to your campaign to help reach your campaign goal. So this is a fully functioning crowdfunding application. And then again, we added the social shares over here. So if you click on Facebook, this will open Facebook and link this campaign to your Facebook account. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to set up your own crowdfunding website by following this tutorial. If you're looking for help with your business website, then you can check out my website maplitmedia.ca to get in contact with me and my team. Please like and subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.